The Litter Robot 4 is equipped with OmniSense detection that utilizes laser and weight sensor technology to provide real-time litter and waste drawer levels. OmniSense also supports the Safe Cat system, which continuously analyzes four safety zones to ensure your cat is always safe. There are three laser sensors located in the top of the bezel, as well as a cat sensor weight scale located in the base of the unit. These sensors detect when a cat has entered or exited the unit. If your unit has a flashing red light bar, this indicates that the cat sensor has been triggered for more than 30 minutes. You will also receive a notification on your phone if you use the Whisker app. The weight scale could be detecting additional weight added to the litter robot. If you've recently moved your unit or added litter, this could cause the unit to think a cat has entered and not exited. Check that your unit is not overfilled with litter. If the litter is filled above the line, please remove some litter before proceeding. From the home position, to zero the weight scale, press the reset button two times. The light bar should flash white. If your unit is stuck during a cycle, press and hold the reset button for three seconds to zero the weight scale. If your unit continues to cycle, you've been successful. If your unit returned home and displays a solid blue light, you've been successful. If your unit is not displaying a solid blue light bar after resetting at the home position or cannot complete the cycle, please follow these troubleshooting steps. Let's take a closer look at the three laser sensors, called curtain sensors, located in the bezel. Debris, such as dust or cat fur, can interfere with the operation of these sensors. This can cause the unit to inaccurately measure the waste drawer level and litter level, as well as cause false cat detections. Wipe the bezel area where the sensors are located with a dry clean cloth to remove debris such as hair or dust. Vacuum the inside perimeter of the bezel, passing over the holes at the top of the bezel where the curtain sensors are located. You may need to clean the sensors with a cotton swab. Now, let's run a test cycle. Short press the reset button, then short press the cycle button to run a clean cycle. After your litter robot cycles, it should return to the home position, displaying a solid blue light. If your unit displays a solid blue light bar, you've been successful. If your unit is not displaying a solid blue light bar, please follow these troubleshooting steps. Let's check for any additional debris or foreign objects that may interfere with the sensors during the cycle. First, we will remove the bonnet and globe to look for any issues. Make sure the unit is in the home position. Press the power button to turn the unit off, then unplug the unit from the wall. If you have a fence installed, remove this from the bezel. To open the bonnet, press and hold the latches on both sides of the bonnet, then lift and rotate the bonnet to its open position. Note, you typically need to remove the bonnet completely only during deep cleaning or bonnet replacement. To remove the globe, Grab the black handle located on top of the globe and lift the globe off the base. Lift the globe up and away from the base and place it on the ground nearby. This will provide access to the base unit. Cat fur can get stuck in the seal strip located at the lower front of the globe. When the globe rotates, fur can interfere with the curtain sensors. Ensure the seal strips on the inside of the globe are not peeling up or have any debris stuck in them. Now that we've checked for any obstructions, let's reinstall the globe and bonnet and check for proper operation of the unit. To install the globe, hold the globe by the black handle and set it into the base. Keep the globe handle and waste port oriented toward the top to ensure the globe is close to the home position. The large black gear on the rear of the globe should easily engage with the smaller white drive gear in the base. If the bonnet was completely removed, rotate the bonnet upward and align the hinge feature of the bonnet at the back of the base. You should hear the latches snap into place. Check to make sure the center tab at the top of the bonnet is secured in its pocket by pushing down on the bonnet at the tab location. Plug the unit in and power it on. Whisker has the ability to provide updated firmware to your robot with fixes to correct known issues with the unit. We recommend that you always keep your litter robot's firmware updated to ensure the best possible operation. Note, in order to update your firmware via the app, your robot must already be onboarded to the Whisker app. For help with onboarding, please watch our Litter Robot 4 Getting Started Guide. In the Whisker app, select your Litter Robot 4 unit from the dashboard. Tap on the gear icon in the top right corner. On the robot settings screen, tap on firmware information. On the information page, tap update firmware to begin the update process. If you don't see the option, then you already have the latest firmware update. This may take up to 30 minutes to complete. 
you will see a single white light blinking on your unit's control panel while your robot's firmware is updating. Try to keep your cat out of the unit during the update, since your cat may not be detected by the sensors during the update period. Once the update is complete, your litter robot should be ready for use. If your unit displays a solid blue light bar, you've been successful. If your unit is not displaying a solid blue light bar, there's likely an issue with your litter robot. Please contact our customer experience team for additional assistance at whiskersupport.com.